I carved it yesterday. Um, so my plan for today, I have no lift, but I have two 45 minute cardio sessions. So I'm on my way to the gym to do one of them. And then I'm gonna pose um, out in the open at the gym in front of everybody so everybody can see. It's gonna be great. It looks so white. Um, I think I'm gonna sit down a little bit more this afternoon and talk to you guys about my plan for Peak Week. I'm so excited. Um, I can't wait. It's been such a long journey, but at the same time, it feels like it's flown by. So, The next day, um, yesterday I just did a lot of like meal prepping and running around and stuff so that I could have a chill day today. I am ready to sit down and just kind of explain my peak week protocol to you um, and just like what I will be doing this week I guess so far. So we can start with um, what I've been doing this past weekend. So. Friday everything was normal um, and then yesterday and today we lowered my carbs so I am at 110 carbs which is the lowest which is actually pretty high for a bikini competitor believe it or not. Um, 110 carbs and then the only other thing that I really switched was my workout plan so yesterday I did two 45 minute cardio sessions and then today I did 235. Um, and then no lifting, and then um, a tablespoon and a half of salt, which I could be wrong, but I think that just kind of helps keep you a little hydrated, helps you hold water, but then it makes your muscles harder and brings out like the veininess kind of thing. So that's what I've been doing this weekend. Um, yesterday was fine, but I was coming off of a high carb day, and today is kind of like, not as fine because I didn't have a high carb day yesterday obviously so today I'm very hungry so if I start to not make sense in this video that's why so food for this week um, I will vlog probably just one day like maybe tomorrow I'll just do like short snippets of what I am eating I'm not gonna get like crazy into the food thing because this week is like it's not like what I would it's all food that I typically eat. I don't know how to say this, but like this week I am being very strict with what I'm eating. So it's gonna be like chicken and broccoli and rice for lunch and then rice cakes for a snack and then like steak, rice and broccoli or like sweet potatoes for dinner. So it's gonna be like bro meals like I was saying last um, in my last vlog. So I'm not gonna get crazy with the um, food vlogging just because like you don't need to eat like this all the time. It's just like a peak week thing. And then after this, I will go back to eating my regular Oreos and ice cream when I can fit that into my macros. So, so our plan for this week. So typically um, coaches will start pulling water um, to like dehydrate and flatten out their competitors. We are not doing that. I am going to be staying at two gallons up until literally Friday and then show day I'll be like sipping on water here and there. I'm not dehydrating. Um, that's just what we're doing. That's just what my coach Shelby and I are doing. Um, so I'm still going to be drinking two gallons of water every day. Um, and then as far as food, today I'm at 110 carbs tomorrow 140 so starting tomorrow we're going to start um adding carbs each day so i will start like filling out my muscles and kind of like pumping up my muscles so that by 
Saturday I look full and healthy and good and not like um, like flat like you can kind of see you can tell when your muscles are flat versus when they're full so our plan for this week is to start pumping me up with clean healthy carbs so I'll be eating a lot of rice um, and each day it's just gonna be more and more and more carbs fats and protein are just gonna stay the same for the most part so so basically my food it's it's gonna be literally the same food every single day but like Tuesday I'll add a little bit more rice to my lunch or dinner and then Wednesday I'll add a little bit more rice to my lunch or dinner so it's just gonna be like a week of clean proteins and carbs and fats just to get me pumped up and get me looking healthy by Saturday. And then like a few other things that we're kind of doing throughout this weekend is, um, or this week in the week, no dairy, um, no carbonated drinks, obviously just because they make you bloat. Friday, no veggies, but I think I might start Wednesday, no veggies, just because veggies do make you bloat also. So just kind of like, slowly going off of this stuff that's gonna make you bloat. I will keep this vlog running until probably Thursday night. Then Friday, I'll start a new vlog for um, everything that's gonna go down, for everything that's gonna go down on Friday and Saturday. So that will be like the show day vlog. So everything will probably be like little random snippets here and there, but I hope that you enjoy it. Um, thank you guys for watching these vlogs. They've been very all over the place I need to be looking back but whatever I'm I know a lot of you guys are interested in it and I'm happy to share it I'm an open book um, and I appreciate all of your support obviously so tell you what I have for um, my lunch and dinner today it's gonna be my dinner because it's bigger but I literally have leftover ground turkey sweet potatoes broccoli and chicken and then my lunch, which I'm probably going to eat pretty soon because it's almost noon, is chicken, sweet potatoes, and broccoli. So it's just very simple, clean foods um, that we're going to be consuming this week. Good morning. It's 5.30 in the morning. I look very rough and white in this lighting. I'm checking in every day this week with my coach Shelby just to make sure that we're 100% on track. So I wanted to just give you guys a little physique update. I haven't started upping my carbs yet and then I thought maybe like Friday morning so you can kind of see the differences and understand why I'm going to be eating more carbs. I have already started sipping on my coffee with my level one protein powder in it from First Form. Um, I've been up since 5. It's 5.30 and that's too long for me to go without coffee, so... We've got 25 and a half, 26. Booty. Is 37. I feel like it definitely, yeah, it definitely gets smaller. <laughs> My legs I'm supposed to do too. So we'll just do. 22 for the leggies, so. Those are my measurements as of Monday of peak week, June 21st. So let's see if anything changes by Friday. Otherwise, I'll do a physique side by side so you guys can see um, what I look like. I guess this you would call flat versus pumped up with carbs. So um, today I'm going to show you guys just quick panovers of what I'm eating today. So. 
running in the back that's the sound that you're hearing but I just brought them up from the basement for a user and I'm gonna put them in the fridge so they can start thawing please I'm gonna put some in the fridge so they can start thawing because it's Wednesday and we are three days out and I need to start dying these. Good morning guys. We are one day out. It is Friday um, the 25th. I just got done doing my check-ins with my coach. And now I'm going to do kind of like a follow-up from earlier in this vlog of my um, physique update. I'm going to measure myself. I don't know if anything crazy changed, but I'm going to measure it just for the sake of doing it. Um, I already have my coffee. It is 7.30. Um, so like an hour after I usually eat, I slept in today. So it's an hour after I usually eat and I'm starving. I need my oats, like pronto. I'm sitting at 129 today. I think when I checked in with you guys earlier in the video, I was a little over 130 or 131. So we did lose some weight this week with um, carbs, which is good. But let's get into the fizzy update. <laughs> is still the same. Um, I'm assuming these are all still going to be the same, but I'm just kind of going to do it just because. Booty is about 37. And then that's the only part that matters. Let's be real. My booty. Are like 21 and a half. Like my shoulders are a lot more round with the extra carbs and I've just been feeling a lot better this week, which is huge for me. The thing that I wanted back was my energy and it really came back this week. She came back this week and I'm really excited for next week because I'll still be eating more carbs than normal next week, but... Okay, so I am just finishing up packing and I thought I would just run through and show you guys some of the random things that I'm packing. Obviously my suit and my heels are given, but an airplane pillow because when you get your hair and makeup done, obviously they don't want you laying on your face or anything like that, so airplane pillows are huge. Um, we have a blankie because I'm going to be doing a lot of sitting around. I'm probably going to be super cold. A shaker bottle just for my water because I am going to be measuring the water that I am drinking. Um, I've got some salt and then I have oats and then a bowl to eat my oats in. Rice cakes. So Shelby's letting me pick any flavor rice cakes to eat that I want. And of course I picked caramel and chocolate because I haven't eaten those in forever. Um... Petroleum jelly for my nails. So when I get my tan done, I'm going to put that on my nails so that it doesn't stain my beautiful nails. 
coffee just in case for some reason the hotel doesn't have it and I am having coffee tomorrow. No, there's Sandra Buds. And then, just so I can eat my food. I don't think there's anything. There's nothing underneath there. Um, oh my gosh, okay. Okay, so. I will be poking a hole in these bad boys and peeing into it. So, and it's funny because I didn't know how many times I was gonna have to go pee or how many I'm gonna need, so this is literally what I'm bringing. And then I'm obviously taking, this is my phone. Um, I'm so bougie with this shit, but I love it. This is my phone tripod and my camera tripod. I have like my going, so my going out outfit is here. I have my jewelry here. And then my heels, I've got my black clothes for tanning because they want you to wear black, like lightly loose clothes so that your tan doesn't, so that your clothes don't stain your tan color and that you don't get like any wrinkles in your skin or anything like that when you're sleeping. Some slides to wear, like around the show so I don't have to wear my heels. And of course we got the bands. My robe that I just got from Amazon for like 10 bucks, cause I'm cheap. Some workout clothes cause we will be doing a workout um, after pre-judging. I've got my weave in here. And then extra hairspray and a curler. So then as far as other prepped food goes, this is just what I have. Um, I have two steak and rice meals um, and then one chicken and rice meal and then a bunch of pickles for some sodium and then some hot sauce. This is what I'm basically, I'm, I'm not going to eat all these pickles but we have them just in case and then I will for sure be eating two of these meals and then one of them is just extra. So that is why when we get tacos I might be having seven tacos because this is all I'm going to be eating all day. So if you see your girl ordering seven tacos at Vagabond, um, don't judge me. Don't judge me. <laughs> the other snack, like if you know me, you know that this is like another snack. Like you just know. Um, our Cheez-Its. And I had to get that extra toasty. So I think I might bring these and then snack on them because it is a half hour drive from the venue to tacos. So I I'm gonna bring these, I'm gonna bring these. You know, they've been on pretty much every journey with me in my entire life, so I think I'm gonna bring the Cheez-Its. And then last but not least, I do get wine tonight. So, um, but I'm just, I don't have any mini bottles of wine, so I'm going to the grocery store after my workout today to get a little bit of wine. So I can have some wine tonight. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video because I will be starting the show day one today. Um, so I'm just gonna cut this off right here. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. Tomorrow is show day, I'm so excited. And I'll see you in the next one.